A mission to space also means a long journey from home. It's a rewarding yet lonely part of the exploration far from Earth. A new documentary, Space, The Longest Goodbye, shares an intimate look at the reality of human behavior in isolation and what scientists are researching and developing to prepare future astronauts. Take a look. I remember when they're counting down. And then as soon as it lifts off, you can feel it in your chest. My mom is not on the planet. She's really gone. And joining us here today is a former astronaut and retired U.S. Air Force Colonel Katie Coleman. Thank you so much for being here today. You went on three missions to space. Judging by your background, we think you're on Earth. We're not sure, though. Um, <laughs> this is the question I'm sure you've gotten a million times. What is it like to see a glimpse of home every time you were away from Earth? You know, looking back, it made me actually feel, I always thought space would be far away. And yet when you get there, I mean, I felt no less home. It's just a home is a little bigger than we thought. And I really felt at home on the space station, but I sure missed Earth. And in the film, they also interviewed your son. Did you ever feel like a gradual change in your relationship with him while you were away? I actually still have hard a hard time watching uh, watching that part of the movie and not crying. Actually, <laughs> you know it's hard, uh, and and it's been a wild adventure really to be part of this film and get to watch it essentially with my ten year old and my twenty three year old. And I wouldn't say that things changed so much over the course of it was about six months that I was in space, but it's been interesting to kind of like in the years since, and especially this year after the film came out, kind of you know, understand what that really meant to both of us. That is so fascinating. Can't imagine what that must be like, that dynamic. Uh, the preparation and the journey it takes to become an astronaut, obviously physically challenging, but how do you mentally prepare yourself to face isolation in a confined space? Or are you ever really prepared? I mean, it's actually a huge, big place um, up there. It's the size of like the inside of a 747. So it's really big, many modules. And at the same time, you, you can't leave and you don't get to pick who you go with. And, and you don't get to have that person that you just love to talk to at the end of the day. Although we did have an internet protocol phone and that's what you uh, phone and then video once a week was what we got to do. So you do get to actually, you know, connect with those people. But you, you talked about people getting prepared. You know, how do you prepare for this? It's really exciting right now because NASA is taking applications. I'm a former astronaut. I'm retired. But they are taking applications for brand new astronauts. And I think it's a perfect time for a film like this because you might think that we're just people like you saw in those old films that you don't get to see that much of a glimpse of what it was really like for them. And to that end, did you ever feel like a sense of connection seeing other astronauts in the film who shared those similar stories as you? Absolutely. And, and even looking the other way around, I've had, you know, um, military kids come to me, two of them actually, and just say, you know, my whole life I felt kind of bad that I didn't always want to talk to my dad or my mom when they were away and here was this little chance to, to talk. And yet, you know, our family, I mean, my 10 year old didn't always want to say hi to his mom on the phone, you know, and, and that, and I really wanted to, but it, you know, and so it's just human, it's just part of families. And so uh, I think finding out that we all face the same challenges and even looking at these compared to like the pandemic, and what, what that isolation was like for all of us then, you start to realize that you can make those connections. It's not the same, but it's, it's still, it's real. And looking ahead here, one more question for you. From artificial intelligence, virtual reality, and travel hibernation, what does the future look like in space travel? And how prepared are we to send astronauts to Mars? Well, I say we're not ready yet, but we are getting ready. You know, and the moon is the is the place to actually start doing that when it's three days away to to solve solve our problems. But when it comes to you know how can we prepare people for you know when you can't have that live conversation, I'd say, you know, entertain the possibilities. I have been surprised really at some of the things I've gotten to take part in where I'm like, oh, I am never going to like that. It won't mean anything. And when you let it sort of in you'd be surprised at what can make you feel better. Incredible insight. Thank you so much for joining us. We're all looking forward to this one. Space, The Longest Goodbye is out now in theaters, as well as streaming platforms, Apple TV and Amazon.
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.